Welcome back to One Stop Law. In today's video, we talk about the Chief Justice of India, we talk about the Constitution of India, we talk about the Chief Justice's roles and the appointment process. Uh, we start with the Constitution of India, where Article 124 talks about the formation of a Supreme Court. So under the Constitution, we have the concept of doctrine of separation of powers. This concept is the basis of the three pillars of democracy. Uh, which states that there is a legislature that deals with making of laws. There is a judiciary that deals with uh, interpreting these laws and making sure the laws are being followed. And finally, there is an executive that is the police force, the armed forces, which make sure that such uh, directions of the judiciary are followed to the T. Now, when we look at uh, Article 124 of the Constitution, we may observe the role of the president. The president under subsection 2 uh, states that uh, he has the power to appoint the judges of the Supreme Court under the recommendation of the National Judicial Appointments Commission. Now this National Judicial Appointments Commission has come into picture since 2014 uh, by way of an amendment. Uh, this amendment was issued on the 31st of December 2014 when it was actually enforced in the Gazette. Now, as per this amendment, the old process has been uh, declared redundant and this new process wherein there is a National Judicial Appointments Commission set up. The commission is set up under Article 124A and it comprises of certain members. The list of the members is on your screen right now. This commission is established under the National Judicial Appointments Commission Act 2014. Now, when we talk about the Chief Justice of India, we must understand what is the exact role of the Chief Justice of India. The Chief Justice of India is nothing special. He is just like any other Supreme Court judge. The only feature that he has, which the other judges do not, is by way of a convention, which is, uh, which is called the Master of the Roster. Uh, the Master of the Roster is nothing but the fact that the Chief Justice of India gets the right to decide which judge will handle what kind of cases. Uh, this concept, Master of the Roster, has been established time and again and has been uh, reinforced time and again by many uh, Supreme Court judgments. One of which being the latest judgment of uh, Shanti Bhushan versus the Supreme Court of India. Uh, writ petition 789 of 2018 before the Supreme Court of India. Now, when we uh, talk about the roster, if you uh, ever visit the Supreme Court's own website, you have a tab which talks about judges roster. This tab will lead you to a page where you will be able to see a PDF file in which uh, it is clearly spelled out the different different uh, subcategory codes and the different types of matters each uh, judge is going to handle. For example, what's on your screen, you can see the Chief Justice of India has uh, all these uh, various types of matters which he will be looking into personally. Uh, this roster is effective from 28th of uh, November 2022. And uh, if you go on scrolling down, you will see other judges' names and you'll also get to see the different matters listed for them. This roster has been created by the Chief Justice of India and that is exactly what his power is. In addition to this, the Chief Justice also has the power to, uh, uh, to set up benches, constitutional benches to hear and decide on constitutional matters. Now, moving forward, uh, we decide we try to understand how the chief justice is appointed so under article 124 it is that stated that every judge of the supreme court is appointed by the president but that does not talk about the appointment of the chief justice it is under section 5 of the national judicial appointment commissions act 2014 that appointment of the chief justice is more specifically uh, discussed and dealt with. Under this section, it, it, it is prescribed that the senior most judge of the Supreme Court is to be recommended as the Chief Justice and the senior most judge, the criteria is not age. 
the criteria in fact is a uh, seniority based on when you obtain the license to practice law uh, so keeping all of this in mind presently the chief justice of india is honorable dr justice d y chandrachud who was recently appointed uh, by the president's uh, order uh dated 17th october 2022 which you can see on your screen and uh, this is the notification on the basis of which uh, he has sworn oath into this office his retirement date is set as 10th of november 2024 that is when he will attain the age of 65 and uh, you may also notice that he has been a supreme court justice since 13th of may 2016 uh, dr chandrachud has uh, completed his law from uh, the campus law center delhi university and he has obtained his masters degree from howard law school usa uh, so in a nutshell the chief justice does not have any uh, any special powers other than the fact that he is the master of the roster and he determines uh, what benches are to be constituted uh, he is not supposed to be looked at as the superior most uh, judge of the court and he is not to be seen as having any other special judicial powers or he is not to be seen as having more authority than the other judges so this has to be kept in mind every single judge of the supreme court yields the same amount of power it is only as a customary uh, act that a chief justice gets to choose how the cases should be distributed that is about it uh, so that's all for this video please if you liked it don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel stay tuned for more such episodes